boat is starting to look like all the other neglected vessels here, marina. Got green stuff growing on my decks. Got all these little black things growing all over the house. Let me get that all cleaned off, buffed, and fresh wax applied in the coming weeks. Ooh. This is the dirtiest the boat's ever been in the time we've owned it. Even the canvas is turning green. It's all this rain, I guess. I guess this is what it's like to live in Seattle. Pacific Northwest. A local cat found a new bed. Okay, what do we get? Let's hear the list. Um, so last spring break, we had eight days max. We had a regular breakfast, eggs, bacon, sausage, cereal, pancakes, potatoes, oatmeal. And then we had, we had a CSA basket. Um, asada and bean tortas twice, Italian sausage and pepper, lamb chops, mixed rice, chimichurri steak, chicken vindaloo, going chicken, falafel chicken, and curry. They don't make the chicken vindaloo anymore at Costco, so we can't oh, do that. I, I think we that have stuff. one more. I look every time we go. <clears throat> they switched it to a chimney, uh, chicken curry in coconut curry. Mm. Cans of air, dog bed. Hi, dog. Yeah, you're gonna shake my hand. Um, kiddo sleeping bag. New plastic bin for organizing bolts. Um, boy, it's dark. Uh, ah, light. Oil, computer bag, dry goods, food, too bad, food, food, um, clothing, Dave, food, more food, food, more food. <laughs> Beck and Teresa. Clothes. So, first trip of the season. So, overdid it. <clears throat> we got seven days of food. We're not going to stay that long, but. Um, this is a bunch of just start of the season supplies. Yeah, resupplying. And the then the uh, oh, the second cooler is already on board. Keep one cooler on the aft cabin roof or deck, so would be the proper term. And then the other one will either be up in the flybridge or maybe back here in the cockpit. Kind of alternate depending on what we're doing. All right, so you open the raw water intake. Yeah. So easy. Yeah, it's nice and it's rebuilt. And I loosen the nut. Yeah, you should repaint the engine too. Come here. Come here. This 
Okay. Why is he stuck? Check his hind legs. Are they pinned or something? Or is he just being silly? Come on. Come on, Jeffrey. It's okay. Come on. Okay. Back clear out of there for a sec. Is he, is a foot hooked? Oh, he's stuck under the wheel. His, his like hip is hooked behind the wheel. Oh, Jeffrey. Owie. Oh, buddy. Beck, clear out of the way, please. Woo, woo. There you go. Are you really stuck, big dog? I've never seen you get wedged right there. I guess, I don't know, the seat or footrest is back all the way. Do I need to remove the wheel? No, not really. Oh boy. We got to move 145 pounds of dog. All right, I got to put the phone down. Here you want to film her, film her. Okay, I don't want to hurt your hip, but you got to move it this way. Okay, oh, no, don't get lower, get taller. Jeff. Okay, gotta get your sea legs. There's no room for you in here right now. We're doing engine room work. You're in such a hurry to get in here. Yeah, why don't you go out? Good plan. Of course, you're gonna walk over all our food to get out. Go to your bed. Right in the bed. Oh, ah, watch it. Go lay down. I had a slack right now, high tide. This is the easiest departure ever.
bring a parallel course to this tug and tow. And we're reduce slowly. We're reducing CPA, so I change course. And I'm going to cross behind the barge. And then I'll resume a parallel course. And my radar is letting me know. Danger close targets. So we got a commercial ship outbound from the gates. Come on, focus. So I'm running parallel to the channel. I want to stay to the right of the green buoy. Go to the market. Go to the market as well. It's 11.40 a.m. on a Sunday. We just shut the engine down in Cherry Cove. Jeffrey's getting his second breakfast. That's his first. Oh, first breakfast. First breakfast. Beautiful sunny day out here. We had an easy uneventful crossing. Blue skies. These moorings have not had a whole lot of use the last couple months because several of the sand lines are floating either near the surface covered in weeds. I almost ran over one. Uh, see the second can on the left in the foreground. Its sand line is up near the surface. I would say maybe a foot and a half down. And there's a few others. Man, what a beautiful day. It's probably, I'm gonna go with 68 degrees Fahrenheit. There's like four boats in the cove. Two power boats and three sailboats. So five vessels. As is usually the case, the power boats are out outnumbered by sail in this part of the country. I like that crane on the bow. The stove's been installed for a couple of months. Looks really good. Yeah. But it's only made coffee so far. So this will be the first meal. And uh, hey, back the handle still has the shipping clear film. Can you feel that? Off? There are people who buy electronics and they leave that film on there. That makes me crazy. Recently saw an old VHS tape deck sitting on someone's bookshelf, and it still had the plastic film over the clock. Since it was dark and we got underway at sunrise, I still haven't watched the boat. And I need to get to that. But there are more important projects right now. Uh, that came in that hot mitt. Right there. Newly installed cup holder. Doesn't work. Shit. Yep. The bird poo on ship rocks are brighter white than the snow-capped mountains. <laughs> 